Main Street Middletown has been the centre of the community life since settlement in the early 1600s. In 1983, Middletown was listed on the National Register of the Historic Places and continues to be a family-friendly community. This friendly environment has created a long line of generations in Middletown. One of these stores was a Amato's. So our business was founded in 1940 by my dad, Vincent Amato, um, who was 14 at the time. Uh, he built model, wooden model airplanes and he decided to start selling them to his friends. So he opened up a little shop in the corner of my grandfather's plumbing and heating store right here on Main Street in Middletown. I think my favorite thing about Main Street and about having a, a store in Middletown is dealing with generations of the same family. Being that we're a generational uh, business, so it's our third generation now, um, I've dealt with families where I've dealt with, you know, the grandparent, um, then the parent, and then now the child. And then sometimes even uh, those children grow up, become 16, and work for me. So I really get to know people, and I think that's one of the things I love about Middletown, that um, there seems to be a lot of people that, that live here for a long time. The St. Vincent de Paul Soup Kitchen is used to address housing, food, and other basic needs that the poor or less fortunate face. They opened the soup kitchen in 1980. Their mission was meeting needs and offering hope. About 200 individuals use the kitchen services every day. The soup kitchen has taken on a big role in the Middletown community by helping people in need. A lot of people have the perception that people who are just homeless come here. A lot of people are the working poor, the people who have jobs, and they come here to supplement their meals. Um, there's also people that, you know, I, I will see when I'm out. I will see it, you know, in other parts of the city, um, other parts of Main Street. Um, shopping or, or with their kids or some people just come here because they're lonely there's a lot of older gentlemen who live alone are on fixed incomes and they come here for uh, the social um, the social aspect I think uh, this the population is unique because we have a lot of resources in Middletown we're sort of a hub for recovery um, we have mental hospitals and mental institutions, and we are like the last stop. If someone spends time in jail or other agencies don't quite know what to do with someone, we're often um, left holding the door open for that person to come, and, and we try to, we sort of lure them with the food, and we try to find services for them. We try to find out, there's a lot of homeless people, we try to, they come in, we try to find out where they're sleeping that night, and point them in the right direction to get services. Another resource that has affected the downtown Middletown community has been the presence of a renowned institution, Wesleyan University. Uh, my name is Julia Adler. I'm a senior at Wesleyan, um, and I've also been given the opportunity to work in town at the Youth Services Bureau, so I've been able to extend my connection to Middletown a little bit more. Uh, when I first got to Middletown, um, my perception of Middletown was pretty restricted by Wesleyan, and I didn't really feel like I had a grasp on what it meant to be part of the Middletown community, or even what Middletown was really about at all. Um, and definitely felt like I was kind of like in this Wesleyan bubble, and there were in the campus talks about the Wesleyan bubble, so people barely even walked down to Main Street, um, and felt like a little bit trapped by that, and wasn't super psyched. It's a community and feeling a sense of belonging in like the place I'm living is really important to me. Um, but as I got into my sophomore year, I started volunteering at the high school and just taking the initiative to do different things in town. Um, and that's when I feel like I really came to being an actual member of the Middletown community. Um, so obviously, like having this identity, like, all right, I'm a Wesleyan student, but I'm a Wesleyan student in Middletown, like seeing what that means. Uh, and that's definitely allowed me to spread my wings and do a lot in town. Just what downtown Middletown means to me, or I guess I, I think of downtown Middletown really as like Main Street. Um, and it has, I guess it has a few different meanings. It means on the weekends, like a place to grab brunch with friends. During the work week when I'm working at the Youth Services Bureau, it's a place to have meetings at like the Chamber of Commerce or 
or Grand Main is always a popular meeting spot I've found. Um, also, I've been practicing yoga at Luna Vinyasa, so it's a place to exercise. Um, I feel like downtown Middletown, to me, is like a place to be social and meet my community members. Downtown Middletown has been a community more than anything. Its generational history has granted it with a wealth of stories and experiences unlike no other place.